hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel pastor zenab is my name today we are here again with stella the english version of our testimony i know some of you said they are not understanding swahili so we said you are going to do this testimony in english again so that everybody will understand this is a powerful testimony that is going to change your life it is going to revolutionize your mind and you will know that god uh, keeps us alive for a reason karibu stella uh, Hello viewers, my name is Stella Nahwanga, I'm born again, I'm married, I'm a mother of one, I, I fellowship at Lata Glory Church, I'm a Sunday school teacher, mm -hmm. classes from two years to six years, yeah. uh, and this is my story. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a t uh, this is my second time to be in the theatre, mm -hmm. the first time I was giving birth, through the c-section and it was successful so i thought it will go the same as the first one mm. during the second time i had to sms my pastor informing her that i'm going for a surgery on monday but the surgery was not now as yes okay. it was not as yes so it was just a medical, medical yeah it was a medical condition okay so after smsing my pastor that the cs is scheduled on monday mm. my pastor wrote back to me saying that may God enter within that theater and give you the victory that you need. Mm -hmm. I replied back to my pastor and I said amen. Mm -hmm. So when Monday reached, I went to the hospital together with my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to wait for some time. Mm -hmm. Then my, my, it was my, my, the time was not, read, was not yet. Mm -hmm. So I had to wait for like some hours. Because there were people who were Yeah, it was, it was, there was, so a it was like one after, after another one. Oh, so, so many people are yeah, going many people the theater. Theater. So we are just, okay. we were kept in the waiting room. Okay. So when my turn reached, I, I was dressed. Yeah. Then I, when I was, was about to enter the theater, at the door, the presence of God was so heavy mm -hmm. that I felt it. Mm -hmm. So we entered the theater mm -hmm. and they did half i was supposed to go for half how was that presence of god how did, can you be as in the presence of god as in when you're in the church mm -hmm. when we worship mm -hmm. the presence of god comes down mm -hmm. and that's exactly how it was in the theater mm -hmm. i felt that presence of god mm -hmm. so when i entered the theater mm -hmm. and they had to do it was half it was half it was half it was not full, the stomach, the stomach. Okay. so from from here mm -hmm. up to down yeah. it was supposed to be numb yeah but this the other part was supposed to be normal yeah so when they did, I, I, wo, I was injected mm -hmm. and the, half of it, I became yeah. numb. Yeah. And you told us when you went to the theater, there's a song that was singing. Yeah, in. after they did, the, I, I, immediately I entered. But when was the song now began singing? When I felt the presence of God, yeah. there was this song that was they were singing at the yeah. background. Yeah. So immediately when I, I they did the half, the half of the body, that song was continuing yeah. to sing. That song is sung in Swahili. That song is sung in Swahili, it, and there's a part that is in English. English yeah. But the, the, the part that they, they didn't do the, do the whole part, yeah. they were just some parts and some parts they were missing. Of the song. Yeah. Okay. They were now singing the English part. The English part. That says, and the English part was singing, the King of Glory is, is here. here. And oh. they were like, it was time, they were insisting that yeah. the King of Glory is, is here. here. Then the other parts, they are being muted. Yeah. Then when they are mu being muted, there's a Swahili part that comes. Yeah. What, what will, will you tell him when you see him? Yes. So I was just there and I was meditating upon the word of God. But that song kept on singing. Uh -huh. The king of glory is here. Yes. And it, as in that song, it was reminding me the message that my pastor wrote to me. Yeah. That God will enter with you in that theater. theater. So it was still insisting the king of glory is, is here. here. So you should not I should not be, be panic, panic yeah. or fear. Yeah. So the surgery began. Mm -hmm. They just began it well. Mm -hmm. I was just there, the song is singing. And I thought it was like the, the first one that I was giving the my birth to my baby. Mm -hmm. So when they began it it just began well. But I don't know what happened in the middle, mm -hmm. not even in the middle. Immediately they started it. I started feeling some pain, and that pain I was feeling on my chest, mm -hmm. and that pain was so painful. It was like my heart. It was like it is being. It was wanted to to rip out, mm -hmm. and it was. I was struggling from this side, left side, right side, and it was painful. Mm -hmm. So when they were continuing with the surgery, my gyna, my gyna was there, mm -hmm. and my gyna uh, told one of the doctors. It seems that like the patient is not is not okay. Mm. She's restless. Mm. So she was told to come and check on me. Mm. When that doctor came, because she was just on my side, mm. 
she asked me what's going on I, I, I tried telling telling her I'm feeling pain, mm. but the word pain mm. was not coming out. The pain was in the chest. It was in the chest, mm. and when I was telling the doctor I'm feeling pain, mm. that pain what the word was not coming out, mm. and I was feeling like I, I was short of breath. So the doctor, the other doctor said, let's do it full. So I was given an injection, and before they gave me the injection, it was like I was struggling to breathe. So they gave me the injection. They, I had them say, let's do it full. So I was given an injection and, and, and put oxygen. That one that the cartilage put here. And it was like, I, was, and I wanted to sneeze, but that sneezing is not coming out. It was choking, it was choking me. So uh, they, they gave me the injection and I, I slept all right. I think I just went out. There was blackout. After that, I, I, I can't remember what happened. There was just blackout. So when I was there, there was this nini, there was a scream. And that song was continuing singing. Even you in that process, behind, behind me, it right is, behind me, okay. it was singing. Mm. And it was still say, saying, the king of glory is here. Yeah. And it was like, what will you tell him when you, see when you see him? Now that pain was too much. And I was telling God, remove this pain from me. As in, it's too much. Too much that I wanted to give up. Because I could not handle that pain. Mm. But immediately... There was a, a screen mm -hmm. in front of me. Mm -hmm. It you just know, appeared from it just nowhere. Appeared from nowhere. You know, in, the, in, in that theater and you are doing half, mm -hmm. there's this thing that is covering you from, yeah, here. from here. So yeah. you can't see the, mm -hmm. what they're doing, but you can see their heads. Mm -hmm. So that screen came, and that screen brought the picture of our Sunday school children, class, the, the smallest class, mm -hmm. zero, uh, two years to six years. Mm -hmm. They were standing on the altar, as in when we are, we are, we are to present from our church, as when we are finished, the, the one who is, who is Ninin, the one who is there comes and say, let's appreciate the Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So the children were standing here as if they are finished performing. Mm -hmm. So they were just standing, like looking at the crowd. And that, that song that was singing here, it stopped for a bit. Mm -hmm. And something, I, I just heard a voice say, this has preserved you. And that screen was shown on my face. The children. The children. The so children. God was like, it's like you are dead. Yeah, it's like I was dead because, because I was the not time you, bl you blacked out, the pain was not there. You could not even feel the oxygen. It was just blood. You're not hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything. You're in your own world. I'm in my own world. And then all of a sudden. But this song was continuing singing in the background. That person was still the, the, the song. Uh, let's say the Lord was there. Yes, it was okay. there. The presence was still there. Yeah. Then this these children comes in my face. Yes. The way they were dressed during our anniversary. Yeah. And that and, and the message was this has preserved you. Yeah. And immediately they say that this has preserved you. That picture disappeared. Yeah. That yeah. picture disappeared. That song stopped from the background. Yeah. And I didn't hear that. The one who had said that this has preserved you. I didn't hear any, any any other voice. But that voice when he said that this has preserved you, it was it was a sweet voice. As in a voice that you, you are craving to hear more. Yeah. But it was not it was not there. When he yeah. said that this has preserved you I it came with a lot of comfort, yes, a lot comfort, of peace. peace. So it's like you had already gone, so and now the Lord brought, brought you me back, back because and that, of the work you're doing yeah, in church. Yes, and that's, wow. that song comforted me, wow. and immediately I coughed. Yes. When I coughed, one of the doctors said, she's back, she's back. Yes. And then they came back, they, they continued with the surgery. Mm -hmm. So when they had finished, when I, asked, when I was finished, I was returned back to my ward. I asked them, where is that thing that you didn't show me what, what you are you're removing? Yeah. And one of them was saying, and he was, she was like, she was laughing. It was like, they didn't understand what was going on because when they did full, I did not, that the, the, the upper part did not go up. Yeah. I just blacked out. Yeah. And when they came back, the upper part was okay. Yeah. So they said, you are already gone. Hey, did you hear that? You are already gone. Actually, they had already given up. You know, normally when they do a surgery, whatever they remove from your stomach that they said they saw, they show you. So I think they just threw it or something. I don't know what really happened because they said she was, she was already gone. That means that she had already left her body and she was on her way to heaven. But in the middle, the Lord said, this work that you do has preserved you. Hey! Uh -huh. And so I, I went back to my ward. But the strange thing is that this lower part was still numb. Yes. For like two days. Yeah. 
I, I could not do anything. Yeah. Even going for a short call, Holy I could not yes. go. So they have to put another tube yeah, to help to me. Help me. Yeah. But this the, the lower part stayed like for two days. Wow. So they were like, they, they didn't understand what was going. Wow. But for me, I knew it was God. Yes. I knew it was a miracle. Yes. Because in the theater, when they were when that song was singing and telling me, what will you tell God? Mm. I was still imagining... And I remember the verse that says, mm. call unto me mm. and I will answer you mm. and show you great things. things. So God wanted me just to call him yeah. so that he could show me the great things. Yeah. And the great thing was that God was returning me back to, to life. life. Wow. And it's because of what you do. Yes. The Bible says that every tree that bears fruit shall be pruned so that it can bear much fruit. And the Bible says every tree that does not bear fruit shall be cut off. Now, the reason why God brought her back to life is because of what she does. And this poses a challenge to all of us. The Bible tells us that we shall serve the Lord our God. He will take away sicknesses from us, miscarriage and barrenness, and God will give us a full lifespan. So God tells us, if you want to live long, serve me. If you want me to keep you on earth, do something that is building my kingdom. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. This one is a powerful revelation that God will not only keep you alive because he loves you. God right now is keeping people alive because they are busy in building his kingdom. And this reminds me of another lady who was giving her testimony. I happened just to watch it. And she said she died also in a surgery room while she was getting a child. And she said after dying, she saw herself. She just heard. She heard those, uh, the doctor say, I'm a kufa in, 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 in English says, she has died. And when she heard that voice, she said she began now going up. And she was asking them and they could not even hear who has died. Who has died? Who has died? And the more she was saying that, the more she was going up. And she says when she went up, she got into a city and she got a, a chair that she sat on. But the amazing part of that story is that when the, she's so many people, I've given this story many times, and I'm actually I'm looking for that girl because she's from Kenya. She will come here and give her a testimony. And she said she so many people move, getting in with white garments and, and she perceived in her spirit, these are the people who have died and they were saints and they were crossing over a stream, something like a river going on the other side. And she said they were coming into bunches and she decided ah, there is music on the other side. I also want to join these people and go with them so that I can go worship with them. And when she was standing up, another lady told her, and apparently she said it's like she knew everybody, but she had never seen them. But it's like she knew everybody. So she says, that lady told her, no, you just sit here. Somebody's coming to talk to you. And she sat down on that chair. When she sat down on that chair, the Lord came. Now, I, I am telling you this to overemphasize. My brothers and sisters, connect yourself with kingdom service. The Bible says those that serve God, the numbers of their days will be fulfilled. Those that serve God. And you are in charge. You have an opportunity to serve. This lady, while she was seated there, and the Lord came to cut the story sh short, the Lord came, they had a conversation, but the Lord was not speaking to her. The Lord came and just sat behind her. And she was saying the same thing Stella is saying. The presence of God was mighty when the Lord was coming behind her. And the Lord sat beside her, but she wasn't even able to look at the Lord. And she began telling the Lord. She, she's the one who said, ah, the, the Lord, this person that has sat next to me has not begun conversation. Let me begin the conversation. And she began the conversation talking a lot of things about her life to the Lord. And now she was asking the Lord, is it that the devil has succeeded to kill me? That's why I'm here. Because when I, all the time the enemy tried to keep on telling God a lot of things. And then she said, now that I remember I was in a theater, does it mean that I'm dead? Now how is the baby that was removed from my stomach? What is my husband saying right now? What is my mother saying? And she was trying to, con to make a conversation with the Lord. And the Lord muted. Until the time she said, how about that sister that we serve her in church? And we are always two. We are the ones who are committed in leading praise and worship. The others stopped singing. We are remaining with two. We do the first service and the second service. Well, how about her? Who will help her to sing? Immediately she said that. The Lord communicated back to her. What, what does it mean? 
that right now in this season and this generation and these times the lord is interested in those that are serving if you have an opportunity to join any department in your church i know i have taught people in our church she serves in our church the benefits of serving god i teach it everywhere i go because god can only preserve you when you are serving god faithfully without complaining without murmuring can you just go and join a group in church can you go and join ushering can you go and join praise and worship can you do something can you give and become a kingdom financier can you just pray and become an intercessor of the church because can you imagine i don't know what had happened or what was to happen the lord went before her and the Lord was her in the theater. The presence of God was mighty. And the song was singing. Like God wanted to affirm to her, the king of glory is here. And all of a sudden, something went wrong. Whatever it was that went wrong, God had gone ahead of her. Hey, this is so powerful. Whatever went wrong, whatever they touched. You know? Because tell us, hey, they said it's like they had touched something. You know? And when when whatever went wrong went wrong the lord was there and the lord said you could have died in short but this one preserved you brothers and sisters what else do you want to hear if you want to live long to raise your children if you want to live long until you enjoy old age if you want to live long and healthy be productive in the kingdom of god don't be a church fighter don't be the one that is challenging the pastor don't be the one that is scattering the church bringing discord and fights and all the stuff and trying to destroy the church you will go god will lift you out of the world when you are that kind of a person but when you are there building imagine how many times do we even consider our sunday school teachers or even go and see them okay i had a meeting with them i normally see them but i'm asking they are just they are giving out to the lord every day we are in the main service listening to the word of god praising although this was the alternate who comes and who, who they, they alternate to come to church but you see now god watches what you are doing god sees what you're doing in the house of god your pastor might not see and say congratulations people might not appreciate you but that god the honor of the church the one that you see what you are depositing in these children will save you in your time of calamity me i will serve god i will say like joshua as for me and my house we shall serve the lord and that is something that every christian should listen to and follow that you know for me to live long and it is in the bible the bible says the numbers of your days will be fulfilled as you are serving the lord so go do something in the house of god don't be a member of the church don't be that person that does just sit down and ask uh, why have they have they not uh, wiped the chairs why is the church not clean just go and do something for the lord because nobody owns the church the churches are not for the pastors the churches belongs to jesus christ and everything we are doing there and to be here my coffee the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I will see you in the next video. Stella, do you have a parting shot? I just want to encourage those who left serving to, from in their churches. Yes. I want to encourage you to continue serving serving God. Yeah. As in the word of God says, our labor in serving God yeah. is not in vain. Amen. So just continue serving in your church. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. We serve a faithful God. Amen. Be blessed. You, did you hear that? Those that stopped, please come back and serve God. Guy, it is the devil. The devil will will demote you that i normally say he will demote you will pluck you so that now he can go and destroy your life hide yourself in serving the lord if you're in the present worship or you left come back if you clean the church or a sanctuary keeper do it if you are an intercessor do it if you are a deacon an elder an usher, a pastor a junior pastor do it because that one will keep you alive may the lord be glorified for keeping you alive i'm so happy because i told you last time i didn't know how we could have handled it but this God that we serve had to follow his word and perform it of our lives. The Lord bless you and thank you so much for coming again to share it in English. The Lord bless you guys. Bye. Bye. I'll see you in the next video.